Also tonight, we are learning more about the work being done to protect travelers who are flying in and out of Hartsfield Jackson Airport. Well, three shifts of about 250 people are working around the clock to disinfect more than seven square miles in the airport. But tonight, passengers returning from South Korea and Italy say they were not screened for the coronavirus. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is live at the airport with the concerns they're raising tonight. Jamie? Well, passengers telling me that when they're coming back to Atlanta from those coronavirus hotspots, Italy and South Korea, they expressed serious concerns that the CDC is not screening them. Vice President Mike Pence on Monday saying new health screenings will begin for those arriving from South Korea and Italy. Anyone traveling on a direct flight to the United States of America receives multiple screenings at all airports in Italy and South Korea. But passengers returning to Atlanta from those highly affected areas are concerned the U.S. isn't doing its own screening. I thought that we were the world's busiest airport and that we should probably be checking temperatures of people coming in and out. Felicia Huger's daughter shot this video in Florence and just returned from study abroad in the country. My daughter's been traveling all over Italy since she's been there. They were surprised that there was nobody screening them here in Atlanta. Mary Howard's family members returned to Atlanta Monday night from South Korea. They've been living in South Korea for quite a while and they said nobody screened them before they got on the plane and nobody screened them when they got off the plane. The CDC is in charge of screening at airports for the coronavirus. Passengers in Atlanta not the only ones calling out the CDC. San Antonio also calling out the department for its procedures. As mayor of this city, I find it totally unacceptable that CDC would release a patient prior to receiving all test results and potentially expose the public to this harm. Now, in an email, the CDC said to me that they agree with Vice President Mike Pence, but they are yet to respond as to why they aren't doing their own testing for those coming back from South Korea and Italy here at Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport. Live at the airport, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.